with you on this resurrection day. Because you will agree with me, God is good. And all the time, God is good. No matter whatever it is that we are facing in this life and on our journey, it does not change the character of God. See, God don't have to change. <laughs> because he made everything he wanted like he wanted. I wish I had something. All he does is allow it to be carried out. And so it is on this day, this resurrection day. Amen. I'm excited. Bow with me now. God, our Father, I will thank you and praise for being all of God that we'll ever be. For being the first and the last, the beginning and the ending of all that you have established. We come as handmaidens to bow down at the footstool of your mercy that we may give praise and adoration to your holy righteous and your divine name. At this time, we come and we expect that we may hear a word from you. You are the preacher. You have the preachment that will stir our hearts. Speak our hearts. Give us your holy word that we may be inspired and informed to hold on for just a while longer. And then, Lord, after the preaching has ended, Lord, we pray that those who don't know you will come to know you like we know you today. May you convict and convert them. May they come running down the aisle, seeking what they might do to be saved. And then they'll find you, Lord, with our stretched hands. Lord, we pray these prayers in Jesus' name. For his sake we pray. Amen. 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 Our word of edification on today will be taken from the gospel according to St. Luke. The gospel according to St. Luke chapter 24. And we're going to live verse 6, 7, and 8 of that same book. Amen. Those of you who have your swords, draw your swords. Amen. And stand in the presence of the Lord for the reading of His holy word. If you're able to. Amen. If you don't have a book, draw close to somebody that does. Because the Bible says, Blessed are those who read the words of this book. In the gospel, according to St. Luke, you will hear these words in your spirit. He is not here. But he is risen. Remember how he spake unto you when he was yet in Galilee, saying, The Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men and be crucified. And the third day rise again. And they remembered his word. Thus in the reading of God's holy word, our subject for today is, He is risen. He is risen. Amen. He is risen. That is the report that the angel gave the seeking women who went to the sepulchre or early on resurrection morning. And we find that the angel says unto the women, Why seek ye the living among the dead? What a question to the mindset of these women who have been perplexed ever since Friday. Ever since Friday when they realized the crucifixion of Jesus Christ, their Lord. And after that, we understand that according to the scripture, that earlier in the morning, that resurrection morning, Mary and the Marys and Salam, they all journeyed to the sepulchre. 
And the reason why they went to the sepulchre is that they may anoint the body of Jesus. Because they were saying in their heart, at least Jesus ought to have a proper burial. And, and, and so they gathered themselves together. And I thank God for the women. Amen. Because that same Friday, all the men who ain't with him and saw all that, that he done miraculously, and even all the old which of them were going to sit at the right hand and the left hand, they all left and went back fishing. They got out of Dodge. Because they realized that if they did that to Jesus, and we've been following him. Yeah. Guess what they're going to do? <laughs> they got on the move, and they moved far away from that scene. But God always got somebody who will be a witness for him. And so the introduction in light of this story talks about one of the, the most, the greatest events that has ever happened in human history. Yes, the discovery of what the women found when they got to the tomb. Right. They found that the tomb was empty. Yeah. Giving the greatest evidence of the prophetic announcement that had been proclaimed by even Jesus that he would rise on the third day. That means that he would get up yeah. from the grave. Uh -huh. And significantly, that meant that the power of death would have to cease when it came to him because he proclaimed that he would defy even death. Yeah. All right. All right. Not only did he have power over everything, we also, yeah. he had power over the greatest dread of human kind. And I like to say that everybody wants to go to heaven. But don't nobody want to die. What the case with Jesus? Jesus came to die. I wish I had somebody. This was no accident. This was not a man thing. This was a God thing. And then again, when they got to the tomb, after they set their minds to take the journey, Amen. They were perplexed in their minds because they saw where they laid Jesus. Yeah. And they saw what they did to keep him from them or keeping anybody from getting to Jesus. Yeah. So as they journeyed, they had a problem in their mindset. Yes, sir. Who shall roll away the stone for us? And you know the stone wasn't to prevent Jesus from getting out. The stone, amen, will prevent them from getting in. Yes, Do I have a witness here? So what happened as they journeyed, and it, it says something about your determination. Yeah, yeah. That they were willing to go on in spite of what they realized in their humanism. Yes, right. See, that's a practical thing that we can do, amen, on this journey. Everything God doesn't have to do. There's some things we can do ourselves. We can go in and make us an ointment. Amen. To anoint his body. And that's what it is. Yes, But the idea was that they went to the tomb expecting to see what? They weren't expecting that their body was going to be moved because they Come back and say something. Yeah. 
running in his name. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus Christ, resurrection. There was a, amen, a great storm that had to be rolled away. But guess what? God rolled away the great stone in the life of these women that went to see Jesus. My brothers and sisters, God is still rolling away stones out of our ways. Because God won't allow no human thing or no human person to stop you from getting in. Come on, right. Seek me while I can still be found. Yes, Amen. Call up on me while I'm here. Let the unrighteous forsake their ways. Right. And then come to me and I will abundantly part. Yes. Do I have a witness here? Yes. Jesus said,
For they found a greater gift than what they brought. Yeah, right. Jesus Christ resurrection body was missing. I know, right? <laughs> the women would cry to the men. And they say, we've been there. Yeah. And when we looked in, the body was gone. Yeah. Right. But while we were there, yeah. two men two. in right apparel yes, sir. said, asked us a question. Yeah. Why seek ye the living among the dead?
rose yeah. in my heart. Yes, I am. He rose yeah. in my heart. Yeah. The joy. Yeah. I, I, the joy. 